act this out real quick. Now when I say Freddie Prince, you say Junior. Freddie Prince, Freddie Prince. When I say Freddie Prince, you say Junior. Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince, now listen up Freddy, you sound real petty like you wanna get it on When you know you're not ready over here with some menaces Told you from the genesis, fuck around with me, I'll escort you off the premises Personally F-U-C-K who? Man say it to my face, even Scooby wouldn't do that You got it twisted Mr. D-listed, your 15 minutes is up and I must have missed it I'm not impressed with your Star Wars cred and what you claim Mr. Lucas and Filoni said You're not them and they're sure not you, they're talented men and you're Mr. Buffy Ooh, when I say Freddie Prince, you say Junior. Freddie Prince, Freddie Prince. When I say Freddie Prince, you say Junior. Freddie Prince, Freddie Prince. Yo, what's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am He. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind, and I'm a. I'ma drop this real quick and I'ma be on my way. I'ma do a few things, you know, I'm always busy. But you know, I saw the article, <laughs> you know, where Freddie Prince should, like throwing a little hissy fit, you know, on Star Wars fans. And um, I just wanted to know guys, in what crazy world is this acceptable? You know, for everyone, I don't care if you love The Last Jedi or not, you must notice that Freddie Prince Jr. didn't differentiate, you know, between like, fans or fandom menace or who he was talking about he just said star wars fans you know and he just said fuck you repeatedly dropping the f-bomb all over the place and um you know it's just once again it's like we can't lose sight of what is implied here these people just have a very basic disrespect for the very fandom that they're producing material for you know they don't belong here and that's the thing it's like he talks about um you know, oh, I learned it from Dave Filoni, who learned it from George Lucas, as if they passed some shit on to you. One thing I can tell you, you didn't learn from George Lucas and Dave Filoni, that's how to have class. That's how to be respectful of your fandom. You, you tell me, show me the footage where George Lucas or Dave Filoni is cursing at fans, any fans. And you know, George Lucas has taken more criticism than you ever will. Uh, uh, Freddie Prince, you know, so if he hasn't gone on to uh, social media or if he hasn't gone on to interviews and talked about the fans and talked dirty about them and talked down to them, the harshest thing I've ever heard George Lucas say is that he sold his baby to white slavers and that had nothing to do with the fans or the fandom. You know, so you get on there, you know, like I said, throwing your little hissy fit and stuff. It just shows how unprofessional you are. And dude, I, all I can say is you're saying fuck you to us. Fuck you, man. It's like you have no business being anywhere near Star Wars. And, um, you know, everyone is trying to, I guess, break down what you say. You know, all of this, uh, you know, it's predetermined. The force decides it. Shut the fuck up. It's like, I don't need to debate with you what the force is. I have not been entertained with this new batch of films. That's all that matters. And you talk about how Star Wars is for fucking kids. Dude, you do realize there's a couple of ways you can take that phrase. Star Wars is for fucking kids? Like you're a pedophile or some shit? It's like, dude, listen to yourself. All right? It's like, if, if, if we wanted to be dicks, it's like we could just play that over and over and over again. Star Wars is for fucking kids. Star Wars is for fucking kids. It's like, you sound like an idiot. All right? Most of us who grew up on Star Wars just want to share it with our kids. It's like, at least that was my narrative. I've been saying that from day one. Since my son was, like, in his mother's belly, you know, when he was, like, forming, I was looking forward to sharing Star Wars with him. So when you talk about, oh, you're just mad because Star Wars didn't grow up with you. It's like you sound like a fucking retard, man. That's not what it's about. Star Wars is for families. And not only that, but I did a video about several people, grown people who in their terminal illness, who knew they were dying, their last wish was to see the next Star Wars film. I talked about Ron Villamere. You know, I'll leave a, a link to that in the description box for anyone who wants to, uh, you know, talk about that story or see what I was talking about. You know, he was 69 years old, you idiot. Not a child. He was 69 years old. He knew he was dying. He was a veteran, I believe. And the last thing he wanted to do was he wanted to see The Last Jedi. God help him. You know, but that's a far cry from a fucking kid, as you put it.
all right? This appeals to people of all ages. And if you were any type of, you know, you talk about your knowledge in the Force and stuff like that. It's like if you were any type of Star Wars fan, you would actually know that. And you would, you would carry yourself a lot different when you get on camera, when you talk about the fans. And like I said before, for anybody who uh, loves the direction of Star Wars, you need to understand, like I said before, this man didn't differentiate between the fans. He just put it out there like that. And for the fandom menaces part, for all you people who bash the fandom menace, you know, the fandom menace, you know, and all that crap that you guys kick, keep in mind, the fandom menace is not doing anything but expressing our uh, disappointment with where Disney Lucasfilm Star Wars is going. So, in a way, we're protecting everyone's right to free speech, everyone's right to be a consumer and to be able to voice their displeasure with what they pay for, you know? So, if you don't like, let's say, you, like, unless you just know for a fact that you're going to love The Rise of Skywalker, let's say that you have criticisms about it. The same way that these idiots are coming at us now is the way they'll be coming at you later. So, while you want to you know, like, just bash us all over the place for daring to have an opinion that's not, like, glowing, you know, as far as what Star Wars is doing, one day you might be critical. And when you're critical, there will be nothing that is different with the way they're treating us and the way they'll be treating you. All right? So if anything, you don't have to like what we're saying, those of us who are critics of the new Star Wars, you don't have to like it, you don't have to agree with it. I know it, you know, some people is like, it's two years, it's two years after The Last Jedi, and these people are still talking about it. Well, keep in mind, guys, nobody was talking about Freddie Prince Jr. Nobody. No one was saying anything about him, you know, until he said these things. And, he, and we're speaking up for Star Wars fans. All right. So he said it first and then we respond. That's the way this has been going. You know, that's the way it's always been from the very first like start of all of this. They they attack the fans, meaning all of us. All right. We didn't just say, you know, on this day, we will become the fandom menace. No, it's like those of us who love Star Wars, who I guess were of similar mind. We found each other and we were given this name. We were given this identity. You know, but what we really are is we're fans, we're consumers who have the right to speak about what we pay into. And that's all there is to it. You know, now you have this dickhead, you know, who wants to run all over the place and, you know, just dropping F-bombs. And it, I mean, it just sounds stupid, man. It sounds so there's no need for all of that. And now we respond and we're supposed to be the bad guys. No, you know, somebody has to protect and uh, defend the integrity of the fandom. All right, not necessarily the fandom menace, but the whole fandom. And that's what I'm talking about. I really wish people would stop that, them and us. Right now, if you can't see it, this is about these people who are holding what we love, you know, practically hostage at this point and saying that you better like it. Otherwise, we get to control the narrative. You know, we get to say all of this crazy stuff that he's saying. Oh, they're just mad because Han Solo gave the Millennium Falcon to a girl. Who the, what the fuck are you talking about, man? It's like, as sure as I sit here, I'm proof that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I am clearly not a white male. This is not my mom's basement. All right. And I wanted to share Star Wars with my son. OK, that's what this is all about. And he, at nine years old at that time, two years ago, at nine years old, he decided that he didn't want to be dealing with Star Wars after, like, loving it his whole life, all nine years of his life. He decided he didn't like it because in The Last Jedi, he felt like Luke wasn't acting the way he should have been acting, and his hero, Finn, sure as hell wasn't what he thought he was. You know, so he completely turned off to it. A nine-year-old, Freddie Prince Jr., you idiot. So your whole narrative is just wrong. You know, it's just completely wrong. So, um, anyway, guys, I just wanted to drop that out there real quick, you know, and, um, you know, because like I said before, I'm not Mr. Breaking News. It's like I don't have a bunch of insiders at Lucasfilm that I can report on. But one thing I can definitely talk about is how I feel about the way I am being attacked as a fan, as a customer, and how I'm being overlooked as a customer who's not a white male. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, this is how I get my voice out there. This is how our presence is felt. So, um, all right, guys, you can get in the comment section. You can let me know how you feel about it. You can like, you can share, you can subscribe. I sure would appreciate if you hit that notification bell. And, of course, you can always catch me on Twitter. I will be there. All right, guys, I will talk to you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on. And when I say Freddie Prince, you say Junior. Freddie Prince Junior. Freddie Prince Junior.